Here we are, two ladies in the kitchen cooking. Hi. All right, so we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna make tonight. We're gonna make some ice cream and we're gonna make some smoothies. And we definitely have to do something with our papaya because it's time, it's extra ripe. And I have a honeydew melon here and I'm not sure what I wanna do with it. What do you think? Um, we can eat it, uh, just slice it and it will be good all by itself. Okay, so we're just gonna eat this. We're just gonna slice it and eat it by itself. Um, I recently heard that um, not honeydew, not, not honeydew, but cantaloupe, that when you're cutting a cantaloupe, you have to make sure that when you cut it, you slice it open, you want to slice it all the different ways that you want it sliced, that you actually have to take the knife and clean it and make sure that you clean it well because there's actually a lot of bacteria on the outside of the rind that obviously can't be washed off. So you then don't want to slice through the part that you're going to eat. Wow. Yeah. Have you heard that before? No. Okay. So I heard that. So that's really important. But we will slice this. Maybe we'll save this one for breakfast because this one is, is still pretty okay. But we definitely have to do something with the papaya tonight. So you think that the papaya shouldn't be mixed either? That we should eat that? Can we mix that with maybe a banana and some, I don't know, something green? I've never heard of papaya being mixed with anything. Okay. But, um, I've done it. and yeah. I. Did, but if you think that it shouldn't, then that's a different story. Because I do it a lot, fairly often, but I hadn't heard. Want to try it? Sure. Okay. So let's get a cutting board. Anybody want a green smoothie? Mmm, yum. <laughs> this is this is um Darlene. She's um she's heading toward raw. Yeah, she's heading toward raw. Okay. But she actually has a lot. Oh, can't be seen. She actually has um, a lot of, a wealth of information. Come this way so you can be on camera. A wealth of information about um, health and wellness, and she's about to kick off her, her wellness business. You want to tell us a little bit more about what it is that you're thinking about doing in your wellness business? Well, I, um, I have a passion for health and healing, so I would like to um, just spread the word and teach as learn and teach as many people as possible um, about healing through lifestyle and diet. Have you heard anything about the papaya seeds? Um, no, but I, I want to think that there's some kind of health benefits behind it. Yeah, um, actually Sean at uh, Daily Juice Cafe told me that he sometimes eats the seeds. They're actually pretty bitter, but apparently they do have um, some nutritional value. We're not going to eat them today because, I don't know, I'm just not in a bitter mood. So I'm just gonna scoop them out and just go for the meat, the fruit. Mm. Smells fresh. <laughs> Smells good. EJ, yum, you wanna yum. say anything on camera? Anytime you want to do it. He's going to be our health teenager, yeah, our raw have, teenager. We have a raw teenager. Well, our, on our way to being raw, you're going to be our uh, taster. How about that? Hey, yeah, see, very good. And we have a raw, a raw t teenage taster, a raw, a raw elementary school taster. You're always getting to taste. You want to come say hi to the camera? Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> you and Darlene, too shy for the know. camera. Okay, so we're slicing. Mm. Do you want to get some bananas out? Mm. I was talking to a Johnny. A Johnny, no. do you want to get some a, a, a frozen banana out? Wow. Frozen? I want some. Just, just, we just want one, right? What else do we what else do we have in there that might be good? We have some strawberries. Do you, you guys want to put strawberries in this? Yeah. Should we put veggies? Uh. Mm. Or you're not. Should we put green stuff in there? Then we won't be able yeah. to use the walnuts. Oh no, this is just a quick juice. We're not gonna What do you okay. mean? You wanna put walnuts in here? This is not the ice cream. No. This is just a, a smoothie right now. Uh, yeah, do you have your green. hands on my cutting board? That's not very safe, I was is it? Taking this up. I know, but it's dangerous. Okay, yeah, that would not be a good thing to get on video. 
My student teacher cut her hand this morning. Oh, goodness. Cutting an avocado. She had to have stitches. Avocado? Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just going to be a drink. A drink, then. We could put some drinks. Yeah, in. yeah. 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 Okay. Can you do garbage duty for me, Johnny? How about it? how about a little cake? How about there? You do garbage duty, and that will be waiting right there for you. It kind of looks like salmon, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Can you, without letting them slip out of your hand, let's take a banana. Oh. I like to freeze my bananas so that they make this really extra cold. They slipped out of my hand and get garbage. Okay, should we put some maca? Yeah. You, ever, you ever use maca? No. Well, okay. I've had it in drink, but I've had it in So we've been buying it, and I, I know it's a root of some sort, and I know that it's South American, but I haven't really... Okay, we have two types of greens. We have spinach, and we have bok choy. And I think I need to use the bok choy. Ooh, some of it's yellowing. What do you think we should try? The bok choy is a little sour, so you have to put a lot of agave in it, so the spinach will work just fine. And we have agave or we have dates. What do we want to sweeten with? A little both. A little both. Can you get the dates out of the refrigerator, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.